That's a leftover rocks from before. That's leftover rocks from before. Yeah. It's sad. The rain washed a lot of my sand away. <laughs> All right, let's go get some hinges. Wow, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the Philippines. Gonna go try to find a couple hinges and springs for that door. Yeah, let me ask Gary about that. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Some things never change. <laughs> so, welcome to 62 to Freedom. I just got finished running around, getting a few materials and stocking up on water, which I didn't bring in here yet. You know, the container water, like the water that we drank, you know, like the office, office container right there. That remind those fresh bananas and mangoes over there. Get your minds off of those. I don't know. Mangoes don't taste the same in the U.S. either. <laughs> everything, everything, if it's the fruit here, it tastes better to me because it's fresh. It's like, it just got picked from the tree when you buy it. It's not like somebody picked it green and shipped it in. Whatever they shipped it in. Nitrous oxide or liquid nitrogen or whatever they put in there to keep it alive, keep it from going rotten for a month. It would, normally it would rot in a couple of days, you know. I don't know. Can't pick it fresh, can't pick it fresh ready to eat. The first banana I picked here, it was warm. I know it, it all, you could almost taste the sunshine. <laughs> It was ripe. There was one ripe banana up in a cluster. So my nephews cut it down and gave me that banana. And man. That's when I first figured out what bananas really taste like. All right. If you didn't subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Jump up and down on it. Smash it. Off the top ropes. Okay. This is, um, what is this project day? This is like they start on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, um, three people were working for half a day because that's the day it started raining. So it was Gary, Jojo, and George. So they worked half a day and then they called it quits because on the second half of the day, it really started pouring. So Thursday, um, it was two and a half workers. Um, Jojo was off half a day and uh, Gary and George worked all day. So that was Thursday. Uh, Friday, um, they called in Marvin, Marvin A. And uh, Marvin A took off half a day, so there was three and a half workers on Friday. So today, wait a minute. No, uh, Jojo took off half a day. Marvin worked all day, so it was two and a half still. So then uh, today, Marvin, Marvin A was not here. He had, uh, I don't know. He's doing something. I think he will be here the last half of the day. So there was three and a half people here today. 
So that was uh, Wednesday, partial day, half day. So we just call it three people for half a day. And then with everybody missing, a pe somebody missing half a day all the time, we just call it three people. So that'd be Thursday, Friday, and then today. So three and a half days, three people. And that's all the, um, and this is payday right now. So, so they got an extraordinary amount of work done. You know, they cut and fabricated all this stuff so far. So let's take a look at it right now. Welcome to 62. Hit that subscribe. So these are, um, steel and, uh, and, um, galvanized steel and stainless steel steps with aluminum step nosing. I don't know how far along he's finished this, but, uh, I think it's safe. I think it's safe. I saw him walking up and down it, but you see what it looks like. And, uh, by no means is this, uh, hard to walk up. Because, you know, you got in between there to, it doesn't catch my toe. You know, I got a sock, you know, my, some 10 and a half, something like that. In between the 10 and 11. And, uh, it feels so easy to walk up. It's easy. Believe me. So, that's nice, man. That's nice. So, ooh, flip flop off. Flat tire. So then, well, I don't know, you know, if you followed me for very long, you remember back when, uh, I don't know if you, many people even watched, some people did, some people watched all the way from the very beginning. My friends from America, they definitely did. So you may remember me falling down this slope before, you see those steps right there? We didn't even have those in the beginning. See those, you really can't tell their steps over there. You can see where they put some cement, bomb, blah, 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 over there. <laughs> and uh, the part at the bottom already, oh, see right here by this stump, that stump right there, in between that column and that stump, that's where the path went. You can still see some of the cement right there. See it? In between that stump where it used to be a tree, in there because I used to hang on to that tree coming down but that part of it came down that part of it is no no more because the steps went uh, all the way down to the ground it was highly treacherous believe me it was treacherous and I fell down it a couple times and um, you know just down the way a uh, couple houses down, there was some riffraff like that. Riprap. That's what they call riprap right there. The cemented stones on the surface that the city put there. So I drove my motorcycle off the road up there, down onto that, on that same, on that same size slope. And uh, went through a bamboo fence and went off the bike. And the bike fell on my, on my hip a little bit. And then I tumbled down about, I don't know. 40 feet, something like that. Anyway, I was surprisingly undamaged. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I, you know, I just walked off that step over there and landed on rocks like that. And, you know, it's just like uh, I was higher than this to fall down there. About down there where those rocks are, way down there. I, I just walked right off the edge of the steps while I was looking up and just went sideways right on those unbelievable oh you know i lost my train of thought anyway they're working on i'm not going to walk up the concrete steps but they're they're uh more rise than i like eight but they're 12 inch run so the 12 inch run hopefully will make up some for the lack of uh you know i like six or seven but it, it won't be like goat steps. Goat steps I call are, are like eight inch run and eight inch rise. 
Um, I have a hard time walking. I have to, when eight inch rise, my foot is almost 11, with my tennis shoe is 11 to 12 inches long. You know, the whole shoe. So I got to turn my foot sideways to walk up and down. And I don't, I don't like that. That's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not something I'm comfortable with or that I'm used to doing. You know, I'm used to having a standard uh, U.S. step. So eight, eight rise that's going up and down and uh, horizontal is 12 inch run. You can see that that's a large run right there. So because it's a bigger rise, at least you'll be able to get your big foot flat down on the flat ground. So I'm happy with that. I told them I'm happy with it. That's why they continued on like that. So it was good. It's good. It's going to be comfortable coming down there. So, and then you're going to have this flat area right here. It's just barely a slope. It's going to have a concrete pad right here on top of this fill and these rocks. And, uh, you, you know, you'll be able to just contemplate here and well, gather your faculties. Up there at the top, there's gonna be a gate. Wow, I don't know how we're gonna guide them. Oh yeah, you're going all the way to the top of that wall, then there'll be a gate. That's good. That's very good. We're gonna reinforce that and it's gonna be a steel gate because I, I wanna be able to uh, just come through there comfortably and be able to lock it and all that for security reasons. And there'll be a spring I already bought the, you know, it's just like a, a screen door uh, closer, you know, with the tubing and all that, that, this and that. Whoa. This is kind of slippery. It did need this step nose and that's for sure. He wasn't lying about that. But coming off this wet slope, I could feel it slippery. Wow. I don't know why they made it so slick. You know, it's diamond plate. Why they made underneath the diamond plate so slick. But you know, I'm not used to flip flops. It's doable. You see it's all set from there. You come down there, the concrete steps, and you got a pad to lounge on right there. And another reason I like this, cause you know, this thing, I've been wanting to do, pick up the garbage that comes down from the road up there. And also concrete, like that concrete bag right there that I left, that we left there. And to pick stuff up, you know, somebody might throw a can over the fence or something, you know. I don't want all that stuff staying up there. So I'm gonna get all that stuff down when, you know, I got time. <laughs> so I'm making my daughter some noodles. So I left the, I just started the teapot up there. I, it's probably whistling by now. So that little cave right there, there was a rock in there that they wanted to use. So they dug that rock out. It's probably that one right there. I don't know. Look like about the same size. So I'm gonna go fix my daughter's suit. That's top the priority list. And she's buying a stairway to heaven. Ooh. <laughs> I keep my day job. Anyway, uh, which, you know, I don't have, so I'll keep nothing. <laughs> I don't have a day job. I don't know, man. I've been working pretty good since I retired. But I'm going now out here. I'm going to open this gate in the incessant rain for the last three days and the steady downpours. And it looks like it might pick up some now. Anyway, uh, um, a couple very heavy downpours. It should show me 
what I need to do on the beach because everything's out of place now on the beach because we had to dig the rocks away from there and uh, you know finish off the fence down below the fence line so you see the drains the drains are working and they're trying to suck garbage in there but they're working we're gonna see what kind of damage they did outdoors And she's buying a stairway to heaven. When she gets there, she knows if the stores are all closed with the world, she can get what she came for. Oh. I can't remember all the words from one of my favorite songs. I like the part that starts to pick up. And as we wind on down the road, all I want and want is all, yeah. To be a rock and not to roll. <laughs> Dang, I can't, I can't get this lot with one hand, hold. So you can see the debris line, the water level line. Like I said, it was only an inch or two. That's along the edge, so it's going to be, you see, there's a trench down in there. I don't know if you can see that, but up here it was only an inch or two. But down in the edge of the fence, it was probably deeper. It looked like four inches or five. Because it's dug down right there. He dug it down so he could finish down uh, below the, uh, the level of the yard. So the yard needs a little bit more dirt. So we'll see what kind of erosion happened from the... So this pipe is short, so it just basically dripped straight down and kind of dug a hole there. And this one, you see what it did. It was a lot coming out of this one. So it dug there, so I need a build the that's that's my sand over there you see the hump that goes up along that wall that's mine from when they dug this wall out so i'm gonna take that i'm gonna put some rocks down in here and fill this up higher maybe almost to the top of the wall with that sand after the rocks it shouldn't be that hard so that the water don't flow toward this, this wall like it is doing now i don't like that I want it to just go, come out that pipe and come straight down here. So I will fill that up higher right there. Like I said, close to the level of the wall or maybe below. So it'll still be some place to set. And then uh, I'll use that sand over there and I'll, and I'll make this lower with rocks there and then I would take some of this sand and put it here so where the pipes are will be the low area but with rocks piled up there so that it just spreads it out that's what my plan is and so we'll go over here so A lot of water came out of this pipe. Look. It flushed it right out of there. Boom. And then some came down in between uh, there and came over here, it looks like. So. Yeah. I can't believe this one pipe did all that. I think it probably came over that wall. Quite sure it did. There's literally a trench coming this way. <sighs> so it comes out here, but it will not go straight. It takes a left. 
just great. It's just fantastic. Who are you talking to? No, no, no. No, no. No, no. So. That's the ticket. There's a lot to do here too, so I need to get a lot of rocks up in here because that's too much erosion right there. And the steps are way too low. It's way too low down in the next to them steps. That's just gonna continually, it's starting to rain. Wow, look at that water, dude. And do that. <laughs> Uh-oh, the dude and do that, you know, that's not politically correct nowadays, is it? Wow, look at that, man. Nice. The sun is peeking through, you can see the true color of the water. There he is, sunshine, she's gone. In the old time, she goes away. <laughs> It's sprinkling on me. The wind is coming from that way. Color in the backdrop. Yeah. Anyway, 62 is happy with the way progress is going up there. It's only been three and a half days. And, uh, I'm gonna go figure out the payroll now. And I always make a note in my phone who worked half a day. It's confusing right now because everybody missed a half a day just about except for Gary. And, wow. That's super gorgeous, right? Capital G, gorgeous. I never heard that before. I coined that term. <laughs> Capital G, gorgeous. Yes. I come up with something. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in to 62. We check with the progress. It's only half a day. It's lunchtime right now. Lunchtime's almost over. So I'm going to get back in and let them do their thing. And we'll see what the progress is at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, a lot more people watch the channel than are subscribed. It's okay to subscribe, you know. I'm not going to bother you. And uh, YouTube is not going to bother you. And it's free to do so. But, you know, if you want to ask me some questions about the bill, about early retirement, or anything like that, it's okay to ask me that stuff. Ask me in the comments and I will answer you. Or if you're not comfortable asking me stuff in the comments, uh, you can send me your email and, or you can you can ask for my email and then you can email me and I will, I will have your email address off the, off the chat line. And then I'll email you back and answer your question. I'll do the best I can. I almost always eventually find all the comments because you know people are starting way back and they, they uh, comment on sometimes it's like they be people have even commented now on stuff that I made over a year ago so uh, I can figure it out you know but I don't always go to that place where I can find all the new comments because I'm so busy commenting, you know, answering uh, comments that are about now. But I would do the best I can. And if, if I slip up and I don't answer your question, please let me know again in the comments and just tell me, hey, you didn't answer my comment, man. You said you was going to answer it. And I would do the best I can. So that's it for right now. Uh, we're going to tune out and chill out. <laughs> hey. Any more, any much more is going to start the river again. <laughs> Sir, I put the, the savings uh, still matching there. I put them. Yeah. 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 For the dog, 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because that's a, a little uh, right. space. How about the stainless thing there that we cannot incorporate that now? Uh, maybe in there, maybe. I put the design there. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's a thing. Maybe. Uh, there. Maybe. If, it, if you can weld it. Oh! Ah! Uh, if it's it's <laughs> what do you say? Uh huh? Put there. Yeah, maybe. Will it yeah, fit? Yeah. Will it fit good? You yeah. Think? It's okay there. You took my marker home. <laughs> <laughs> they used to give them away free at my job. Yep, it's the beginning of the gate. This is spring loaded on there, so when the guests come in, it's gonna close automatic. And uh, I talked to him. We're gonna put um, there's some of the, the stainless. Uh, that we took off of there, we're gonna add it to this to give it some de decoration. It's over here, right here. So, cause it's facing the road, might as well snazz it up a little bit. So we're gonna put some of that. And then we got some spare stainless in the storage. So we're gonna add that to the, to the gate, snazz it up a little bit. That bottom part is just to keep the animals at bay. So, there's nothing you can really do about cats. They can just climb. Cat can just climb that wall right there. <laughs> Easily. And once again, nothing against animals. You know, I, lo I like the animals. I just don't like the poo-poo. <laughs> I don't know who likes animal poo-poo. But uh, if you like animal poo-poo out there, you need, to, you need to go see a psycho. I like this place. This place is fantastic. Even when it's stormy, you know, it's a nice place. I'm glad to see the frogs are conglomerating around here too. I wonder if they're back in their favorite area. It's not a puddle there right now. Nah. Oh, there's one. He came to see, was there a puddle? I'm not gonna bother you, bud. Thank you.